Hi, welcome to my Facebook live again. This is Yatin Danade, head trader, head trainer of Capitalized Trading and Investments. I had a very interesting question on Quora this time, and uh, the person asked, "Can I have a trading account in both Sher Khan and Zerodha?" So the short answer to that question is yes, of course you can. Trading account does not have any limitations. You can have as many trading accounts as possible. You can have as many DMAT accounts as possible. The only thing is, it will be connected to your same PAN number and it will be connected to your same Aadhaar number. And bank account again, just like the fact that you can have multiple bank accounts. Some people have so many bank accounts. Similarly, you can have trading DMAT account in different accounts. There is no limit to it. Not just two. You can have three, four, five, six, seven, as many as you like. So I hope that answers your question. Having said that, I highly recommend people to have at least two trading accounts. Every person should have two trading accounts. Why? I personally use this strategy. One trading account should be for your long-term investments because stock market. You should not follow just one strategy. You should have all sorts of strategies ready. So at least one account will have your long-term investments ready in it. At the same time, when you want to trade, you want to do short-term trading, or you want to play in future and options, you can have a separate account with maybe slightly less amount of capital in it, so that. Your two different, your long-term wealth and your short-term income are in separate accounts, and you're able to manage it easily. Because what happens is, once you have one account and you're trading and investing from for both, it is very tempting to first of all open your trading account again and again, which again makes us buy and sell stocks unnecessarily. And your long-term stocks, which should not be disturbed, have a possibility of disturbing. So that you have a different. Account for long-term wealth, where you're holding stocks for one year, two year, three years, and you're not touching those stocks. And the trading that you want to do, keep a small capital in it, and you can have a smaller amount or even larger amount, whatever is comfortable to you, and trade with discipline in that particular account. So I hope this tip helped you. If you have any other questions, you can type it in the comments below. I want to know if you are already using a broker. What broker are you? using just type it in the comments so that i know what is the popular book broker these days and uh, any other questions like i said drop it down and i'll be happy to answer